today is the first day of me getting my chemical pill for the first time. I got the Perfect Derma um, chemical pill and I, um, it's very, very tingly um, for the first probably maybe like hour, but <clears throat> the tingling is kind of subsided in the last, cause I got it, what time is it? It's like, I don't know what time it is, it's like seven something, but I got it done around um my esthetician i got it done around seven i mean around 5 5 15 ish 5 30 something like that 5 5 30 time it's been a, like a couple hours since then so i'm just chilling i had the fan kind of on my face so it's not really tingling much anymore but i've been watching people other people on youtube that have had the same um chemical pill and I'm nervous. I feel like I'm about to look crazy. It's the first time I ever had a chemical pill and it's for um, mostly I would like to clear up this hyperpigmentation that I have from um, the dark marks from my, I have, that's a whole nother thing with my PCOS and I'm getting laser hair removal on my face and I got that treatment and then after that my esthetician did the, um, did the chemical pill. <sighs> so we will see. So this is my skin. After I woke up the next day, I um, I just left it on all night and I woke up at like around eight o'clock and I'm about to wash my face, so I'll show it. Good morning. So this is the, um, I think it's day three. Technically it's day three. But I got my, I got my, um, my pill done in the evening. Most of the time people get their pills done in like the morning time hours. So I feel like my like pill process is probably going to be about 12 hours off of what like most people normally, normally is. But I got my pill done on Tuesday. Today is Thursday morning. So I just finished washing my face with the, um, with the perfect cleanser that comes with the, with the derma pill kit. And my face feels super dry and I finally starting to see some peeling happening around my lips and my nose and on the side of my face, I've seen it. And yeah, oh, probably see better if I take my glasses off. So it is actually still Thursday, it's Thursday night. And I'm actually about to go skate and I feel like I'm probably about to sweat some of this peel stuff off. So I just wanted to show that I actually it did start peeling even more. And I'm going to be wearing a mask while I am skating so that nobody else can see that I started peeling like this. Because the mask comes right here so I look halfway normal. I know I'm not supposed to do that. But uh, yeah. So this is Friday morning <clears throat> and we see what's happening to my face. And it's mostly still around this area. I have a little flake up here and here. And I had some over on this side, so maybe they already finished because it was some flaking over here last night. But yeah, I'm actually about to wash my face and I'm gonna be clipping this with a, um nail clipper because that's what my stitcher said to, um to stop you from wanting to peel it to clip it i'm about to wash my face i can see this peeling situation has happened i don't know what that is but um yeah i'm about to wash my face and um i've been trying to hide I've been trying to hide my my peeling so bad from my husband by wearing my little mask <laughs> around. <laughs> Even though he knows that I'm peeling terrible. He saw it like a couple times, but I've been trying to like not just have it just look crazy for him at all times. But there's it's looking nuts and I feel like I mean that's a good thing. That means that something is happening. And yeah, we will see.
about to wash my face. So, this is what I'm looking like on this Saturday morning. Oh, let me get my glasses off. I'll probably um I'll probably clip a few of these four head pieces off. Um yeah, just going through. This uh new skin around my mouth is looking promising. But we shall see. I'm about to get in the shower and wash my face. I'll probably, well, probably clip the clip a few pieces before I do that. But yeah, this is what I'm looking like waking up. Good morning. So today is Sunday morning and I realized that I, when I woke up, I immediately came into the bathroom and I started clipping the um, the uh, flappy, flaky pieces off of my face. So this is what my face looks after I have clipped the flaky pieces off. I had a bunch of flaky pieces here, had here, I had some here, here, and here on my forehead, but I clipped them before I got on camera on accident because I forgot that I was supposed to be taking y'all on this journey with me. Ooh, come on, son. Because you shot like one. But um, I'm about to get in the shower, wash my face, put the, put the post pale moisturizer on. And um, yeah, this is my face for today. I'm ho I was hoping that my peeling would be done by like Monday, but I'm feeling like it's gonna be done more so like Tuesday or Thursday. And these little light light marks have come from this, and I had similar marks when I had my enzyme and peel booster about a month ago, and so I feel like I'll be able to heal that once my whole face is is um finished peeling. But this is Sunday morning. To see how the darker, the darker skin that's gonna, that still needs to peel. This is new skin right here. New skin right here on my nose is new skin, and right here is new skin. So I randomly decided to wake up in the middle of the night, and when I um when I went to the bathroom, I saw like a bunch of my face peeling again, and I realized that I didn't show again what it looked like when I first got up to bed, but it was some um, peeling areas right here that was like hanging off and along the side right here and on my forehead again, but I washed my face and um, so, and I, I put on the, the post peel moisturizer and so, and I clipped the pieces. So this is what my skin looks like. One day, this is like five o'clock in the morning on Sunday. I mean Monday. So it'll be a week tomorrow that I got the that I got the peel in this right here. Under here. And this is really like all that has left to peel. But I can see a difference for sure. It's in the in the texture. Not so much, I guess, I don't know. I think when I look back, I'll be able to see if I can tell the difference on camera or not, but I can see it in person and I, I'm in the texture, so. I got my peel on Tuesday evening around five of last week, and today is Monday night around 11 p.m. And I just um, washed my face for the final time. And I believe that all of my, I believe that all of my peeling is gone. And I have on right now um, a few things. Because this is the first night that I actually put more than just what came with the kit in on my face. Uh, so let me explain. So for the first couple days you are only supposed to use the the cleanser that comes in the kin of in the derma peel kit as well as um the towelettes that they that you're supposed to use and then the post peel and then the spf so i stopped using the spf that came in that kit i stopped using that probably 
probably the second day. So the first, like, so Tuesday evening till Monday, all of Monday and on Wednesday, probably the second time I washed my face on Wednesday, I stopped using that. I did not use that SPF no more because the second time it was nighttime. And then I didn't use that SPF. I used what I usually use, which I'm actually not going to show y'all because y'all talk dirty about me. If y'all see what kind of SPF I use, but it's SPF 50 and it's a spray. Um, but that's what I used. Um, also, I ran out of the cleanser that came packed because it's two cleanser packets. I stretched them as long as I, as long, as far as I could. And they probably lasted me until about Thursday morning. And then I started using my hydrating cleanser by CeraVe. And then, um, like I said, and I was using, but I kept using the post peel moisturizer that comes in the thing and I'm going to continue to use that because it says for African American skin, Asian, pretty much anything other than white, you're supposed to use that post peel moisturizer for um, about two weeks. And I do still have enough where I think I can stretch to another week. But my normal skincare regimen, I kind of went back to tonight because I saw most of my peeling was gone. I feel like I only have like peeling spots in my hairline right here. And then I had some along my neck, but oh yeah, so I feel this spot right here along here still needs, still needs to peel. But other than that, like my actual face is all, all new skin on my face, which I will say I can see and feel the difference in these other spots. I think I already said about that came from the peel and I will just try to heal them myself with my regular skincare regimen but that spot that spot and that spot i believe will be cleared up in about in about a week um i wore makeup for the first time today because i had an interview and i felt like it went on so smoothly just because like i'm just looking at this part of my skin right here like and on the same side it's very 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 smooth under my chin very smooth and um yeah i will say i'm happy with the results of the peel i don't want to do another one because i was saying that if i was happy with the results of the peel that i would do another one in a month but i'm gonna give my skin some more time to get back to normal and then i'll probably go through another laser treatment um, before I, before I decide if I want to get another peel or not, but I, I am happy with the results of my peel.